I, I I caught you a little earlier doing a little impression of Prince. And it sounded pretty good. Do you, can you do an impression of him? Hey man, why you why you wear perfume and, and panties? Jerome. The girls like perfume and panties. And I sat back and I looked at him. I thought I was like, okay, I could do the perfume, but I ain't gonna wear no panties. <laughs> but today I'll wear the panties as a mask for COVID-19. <laughs> Yeah, but so yeah, he, he you know, he was like, ah, Jerome, yeah. oh, if I had your money, I'd be rich. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. No, you wouldn't. I'm not saying no, you wouldn't anymore. Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Always the last word. Always the last word. He was witty. He was fun to talk to because he saw like it's like a conversation was like a game. You know, I think I allowed him to escape the monotony of always having to be thinking. You know, he would come by, pick me up, and tell me, "I'm coming by to get you. We're going to go out to the club tonight." All right, yeah. I'm going to be hanging out with Prince. I'm going to give me some crumbs. <laughs> you show up at 1230, the club closes at one. <laughs> and we drive down, walk in the club, clean, perfumed up. Perfume, no panties. <laughs> and three songs. All right, let's go. And he drive me all the way back home. Drive me off. I'm like, this is a waste of time. I would think that, but I wouldn't say it to him. I just let him have his fun because I, I knew what type of pressure he was under with his, his obligations to make sure that everybody had a place to work. Yeah, no, a bunch of people talked about that, that he felt the pressure of, there's all these people who work for me and all these people who depend on me, you know, and I got to keep... You know, and and so what? What was that? That was him, all the time. I I I've never seen him sleep. Never. I go to sleep, he'd be awake. I wake up, he'd be awake. <laughs> Even when we would travel and be in mansions and things, you know, I get up and get ready to give me some cereal or whatever, and he's up at the table. And I'm like, this dude ever sleep? Damn. <laughs> he um he drove himself. He drove himself. And he's he, a he was a pretty good driver too. He never slept and he also never seemed tired. I don't know how he did it. I don't know how he did it. And and during that 80s period that we're talking about that you were close to him and he's not sleeping. He's not on drugs. When he was around me, I don't lie, I wouldn't allow that shit. I'm just I'm putting it out there for everybody. They can say what the fuck they want to. He didn't do no drugs when I was around him. I mean, in the 80s, everyone was doing cocaine from Wall Street to rock and roll. And everybody's telling me he was staying up three days in a row. Not, no, no cocaine, no drugs. I, I didn't see it. I did not see it. I did not see it. And I'm, Tori, I'm that motherfucker that look you in your eyes when I see you. I'm looking for that demon. Because I don't need to be around with your ass going into a seizure <laughs> and expecting me to give you some mouth to mouth. <laughs> no, I, I, it's not that hard, but I. I I honestly, right here, God struck me dead. I've never seen him do drugs. So how was it that he's staying up two, three days in a row? No, I don't know. It even even when we would go out, we hang out of Studio 54 Limelight, all those big clubs, hanging out, Grace Jones across the room, you know, all the great 
white artist trying to get behind the rope and stuff. And we're sitting back there. I got my black ass back there. <laughs> I'm behind the valley rope. <laughs> but um, I get my drink on. I, sometimes I probably wouldn't get to three drinks before he would slide my drink away. He'd be like, you cool. How could I have anything bad to say about this dude looking out for me like that? And he's not drinking in these moments. He's drinking. But a little bit. A little bit. Not getting drunk. Not getting drunk. He, would not, he didn't want us getting drunk. He said, you're cool. I had to drink away. I'm just giving you these, these little tidbits because I really don't talk about this shit to a lot of people. 